Stupid butthurt millennials are all over social media whining and crying because the UK voted to leave the EU. They're out on the streets protesting against democracy and in favour of the political establishment. <coughs> We haven't witnessed this kind of outpouring of love for an undemocratic superstate since the Hitler Youth. I feel like we're watching the stirrings of fascism in Europe again, and I genuinely never thought it would be my country that did that. Right, so he voted against being ruled by a centralised authoritarian superstate dominated by Germany, and somehow you think that that makes us fascist. No, 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 no. The media had the temerity to claim that Vote Leave supporters were, quote, low information. Yet here's a video of a 22-year-old woman crying over Brexit because she thinks it will lead to the immediate closure of Nando's restaurant. You're 22 and you're crying because Nando's might close. <laughs> this is not a spoof. She actually thinks that the UK leaving the EU will force a South African originated food chain to close its doors. Oh, I can't even move traffic. Look at these utter morons. They don't know the names of any EU commissioners. They don't even know what the EU does. This idiot thinks that the best thing about the EU is the NHS. The British National Health Service. If you to list your three favourite things about the EU, Holly, what would they be? They would be, well, <laughs> uh, definitely the NHS. She thinks that Brexit means the government will no longer pay for her to travel to France. If I can't go to France, I've got to pay to go to France now. Flight travel. She thinks we should have stayed in the EU so everyone would be forced to have the same opinion. That's what basically, it, like for me, it's just about everyone being united together and I like, having the same opinion. Oh, you are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. The special snowflakes are also whining about how old people have stolen their future. You know, it really is as the younger generation that uh, this is going to affect who were kind of, um, they were, I guess, outnumbered on the day and um, by a bunch of backwards thinking old people. Only 36% of them even bothered to vote. 64% of 18 to 24 year olds couldn't be asked. Hey millennials, virtue signalling and whinging on Facebook isn't the same as voting. Signing fraudulent online petitions isn't the same as voting. Calling anyone who voted leave a racist to get social media brownie points isn't the same as voting. You lost. Get over it. No amount of dumb protest placards or demands for a second referendum is going to change that. Go back to your London swank pads paid for by your rich parents and smoke some more weed. Stop complaining about working class people having no voice, then castigating those same people as backward and bigoted when they express a different opinion to you. Stop denouncing old people like you know more than them. Just wish that our parents and our grandparents would have thought of their children and our generation. This is the generation that fought and died for your freedom to vote in the first place. Imagine if you fought in World War II, saved this country from fascism, and then contributed to British society for the next 70 years, only to have some 18-year-old punk tell you that you shouldn't be allowed to vote. These people built our country, but they're robbing you of such a bright future by deciding to take Britain out of the EU, because those European Union unemployment figures are really impressive, right? 37% youth unemployment in Italy, 45% youth unemployment in Spain, 50% youth unemployment in Greece. Now you're wearing safety pins to prove you're not racist, while carrying signs that say white people need to die, because that's not racist at all. Oh, but it's all about love and free hugs. While you hurl death threats at pro-Brexit politicians and wish cancer upon Leave supporters. Listen, painting love on your face doesn't give you the moral high ground. In fact, it's this very kind of anti-intellectualism that leads to the rise of fascism. And isn't it ironic that so-called anarchists are protesting in favour of the status quo, in favour of the political establishment, on the same side as big banks, on the same side as big business, on the same side as billionaire insider trader George Soros, on the same side as Goldman Sachs CEO Peter Sutherland. Sorry, but at what point did you guys stop being anti-globalisation? But seriously, 
What do you expect from Generation Snowflake? Self-entitled, spoiled, immature, me, me, me brats who are so buried in their cell phones and social media virtue signaling ghettos, they can't even comprehend the notion of someone having a different opinion to them. They preach love and tolerance all day, while being completely intolerant of anyone who questions their screeching dogma. They think they're fighting the system while actually doing the bidding of the political class. Listen up, butthurt millennials. Get off Facebook, get off Twitter, go outside, have a breath of fresh air, and stop being used as pawns for the subversion of British democracy. And I actually like felt, immediately felt sick. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>